This time on Air Arms TV, we're out night hunting, rock hopping, hole digging spring hares in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. These animals are huge pests to the farmers out here and we're on the job. Last time on Air Arms TV, we were out hunting in the Eastern Cape Karoo, taking care of hole digging ground squirrels, which were running amok on the farm and causing the farmer unnecessary losses. In today's episode, we're still in the Karoo, dealing with the same pest problem, but this time with a difference. In this episode, we're hunting at night with our trusty nuts out gear. The farmer has had a real issue with livestock and game walking into holes around the property. And we're here to take out some of these hole digging critters. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. It's gonna be real fun hunting. So let's see if we can get ourselves some spring airs. The South African spring hare resembles a small kangaroo and can leap over two meters in a single bound. These animals are mostly nocturnal and live in small tunnels that they dig during the day. Okay, here's the gate. This looks like this is the first field the guys were talking about. Um, they said that there's a whole lot right at the back and a lot of holes. So hopefully we can do some spotting and see if we can see some of that. Let's get going. This area has so many of these hares, I doubt that I'll be able to get all of them, especially hunting in the dark like this. But even if I can get just a couple, I know I'm making a difference. Let's just have a look here. Let's have a look into the field. Let's look, let's, let's see if we can see anything. There, there's some ice at the back. It's about a hundred yards out. Let's go. They're quite far. We're gonna have to make up some ground. Come, let's go, let's go on the back here. Come. Yeah, he's down. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we're working our way in and out of the trees. And uh, we just seem to be spotting new holes and new areas where we're seeing a whole lot of them. So, pretty cool. Um, let's go and look at them. Oh, great. Yo, this is a huge one. Look at that. Awesome, man. That is great. This is a fully grown adult, uh, you can see. And uh, yeah, what a, what a very unique animal, endemic only to South Africa. If you wanna come have a look here, as you can see a very unique animal, and have a look, it's part of the rodent family. They've got these nails for um, holding on and clambering uh, as they uh, dig their way into the ground. Uh, and especially have a look at these toenails, completely designed for digging large eyes for seeing in the night. Uh, these animals are nocturnal and you'll see this 
long kangaroo-like tail, they use this mainly for balance as they're running and uh, helps them with direction. Well, another good one in the bag. Still lots of hunting left tonight. Let's get out there, see if we can get a few more for the farmer. Let's do it. It's really dark out here, so I've got to watch out carefully that I don't end up walking into one of these holes myself. They just seem to be all over this place. Yeah, let's have a look at this hole here. Yeah, this is a, this is a spring hole. Have, come, come have a look here. Check out this thing. You can see the size. It's significantly bigger than the, the squirrels. I mean, look at how, how big and how deep this thing goes. It's right down into here. Check this right down here. Yo, and it's about three times the diameter of the squirrel's hole. So you can understand why the farmer considers this to be a huge hazard. And you can see how deep they run right back and sometimes quite deep down before they start running back. Uh, it's quite easy for the cattle, uh, the sheep, the goats, the horses to step in these and, and seriously hurt themselves. Um, there's quite a few holes in the area too, but we've seen no spring hairs in the vicinity. So I think what we're going to do is head on back over the ridge to a pasture at the back that the guys have been telling us about. And there's a whole lot of holes there too, so let's keep going. It's really getting late now, but I just can't help but go for one more even if it means tracking in the dark to the next field. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look here. I think I can see something there. And a little bit of a clear patch. Let's get to that bush over there, come. That's great. Look at that. Fantastic. Look at that. A big mature spring here. Wow. You know, you don't often get to sneak up behind a spring here. It's just incredible how we're using the night sight to our advantage. Um, there's a lot of high grass, trees, scrubs, and uh, they're in and they're out, and we've been really battling, but in this instance, it worked out perfectly to our advantage. It was just, oh, it was just fantastic. We snuck up right behind him, caught him off guards, boom. Uh, I think I was a little bit low on the shot, but good enough to do the job and do it quickly. So, perfect. Let's keep going. I just can't believe my luck tonight. A couple in the bag and still lots of hunting to go. I think let's, let's just check this field quickly. Oh, it's a nice big open field. Yeah, there we go. I can see some eyes towards the back. Yo. We're not open here. We're gonna have to move very slow. There we go, there's one. There's the other one. Come, let's go. Oh, they're still about 80 yards. They, they're grazing, they have no idea we are. Let's try and get another 40 yards, come. There they are, yeah. That's good. Yeah, let's take the shot. Idea we were here. 
Man, this knot saw it. It's freaking awesome. Where? Where is he? Oh, there he is, right over there. <laughs> Great, look at that. All right. That was a little bit of a longer shot, and I uh, got a bit more bullet drop than I uh, was hoping for, but uh, nevertheless, right through, heart and lungs. Awesome, man. What a great nice hunting, I tell you. There's been spring hairs all over this property, so I can totally understand why the farmer has asked us to come out here and do this job. But what a great nice hunting. And just look at that. Man, what a beautiful spring hair. It's about 2 a.m. in the morning now, so I think we're going to call it a night. Thanks, guys, for joining us on another great show. We'll see you next time on Air Arms TV.